Hottest new color. Yeah. I think I'll get a dress in it for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's almost Easter. Mm -hmm. no. Dude, I love Easter. <laughs> Easter baskets and Easter hunts, but mostly lots and lots of candy. Yeah. <laughs> what I like most about Easter is getting a new outfit. Totally. <laughs> oh my, you all know that Easter is not about clothes or candy. Of course we do, Colby. Easter is about when Jesus rose again from the dead. But we go to church and celebrate that. Mm -hmm. And get to wear our new clothes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it seems to me that the world does not pay much attention to the real meaning of Easter. Just look at these ads. What do clothes and bunnies and candy have to do with the sacrifice Jesus made? <laughs> Clothes don't make a person, that's not what it's about. You only get to know someone from the inside out. Don't go by first impressions, most often they are not right. Cause everyone is buried treasure, hiding deep inside. Oh, buried treasure, buried treasure, is what you'll find. Buried treasure, buried treasure, hiding inside, hiding inside. And if you look, and if you look, with godly eyes, with godly eyes, then buried treasure is there for you to find. There is something special inside of every heart. If I take the time to look at that special. Part, Every 
everyone has buried treasure hiding deep inside. Oh, buried treasure, buried treasure is what you'll find. Is what you'll find. Buried treasure, buried treasure hiding inside. Hiding inside. And if you look, and if you look with godly eyes, with godly eyes, then buried treasure is there for you to find. If you look. you, Colby. People make way too much fuss over clothes and other Easter things, and they lose the real meaning of Easter. Yeah. At Christmas time, there are usually nativity sets everywhere to at least remind the people about Jesus, but at Easter time, the newspapers hardly even mention him. I, know. Yeah. I never really thought of that before. Well, Colby, we all know the real meaning of Easter, but honestly, if I don't get that dress today, it'll be gone. Yeah, I've got to go to the mall, too, Colby. Me, too. And I have to go buy a birthday present for my brother. You may as well all go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Bye, Colby. Bye. Colby. Bye. Bye. We'll be back in a few hours, Colby. All right, Gina. See you all later. Hmm. I still do not understand why humans so often fail to see the sacrifice made by the Lord on their behalf. I wish there was something that would make it more real to them. Hmm. I can't believe I got the last dress in my size. Isn't it cute? Yeah. There's this bag I want to get. It's like the color of that wallet right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just <laughs> explaining to my friends that I want a bag that's the exact same color of that wallet. Oh. That's, that's okay. Uh, do you want some of my fries? If you're not going to eat all of them. Actually, I'm full. My mom's going to kill me if I spoil my dinner. Wow, you look like you haven't had anything all day. I didn't have any lunch. I really don't want this apple my mom gave me for lunch. Thanks. Uh, we have to go. Bye. Did you see the way she was eating? I know, my mom would give me a long lecture on manners if I ever ate like that. No, that's not what I meant. There's something strange about her. Like maybe she hasn't had much to eat. Look, she left her wallet. Oh. Well, let's look inside. Maybe she'll have a library card with her address on it. You guys, there's nothing in here. No money, no pictures, nothing. Oh wait, I found something. It looks like a map with arrows on it. Cool, let's go follow it. Come on. Did you have enough to eat, Rochelle? Yeah. This can't be right. There's no houses here. Yeah. Well, maybe she's just camping here with her family. I don't know. Everyone here has clothes hanging out and old bikes. Even some stuffed chairs and couches. You don't take a couch when you go camping. No. no. Who's there? Oh, hi. What did you do, follow me here? Actually, we just came to return your wallet. How do you know where I live if you didn't follow me here? You live here? Jay. Jay. Whoa, I thought you were just camping here or something. My mom's at work and I'm watching my little sister. You really live here? Jay. Sorry. We get by. We have a tent and a sleeping bag and a stove. What else do you need? Food? We get by. Well, we'd like to help you more than just get by. I don't need any help. For example, I bought this dress today at the mall and I thought I really needed it. But it turns out I don't. So I really want you to have it. Why would you do that? If I was in your place, I'd want a little help. My mom says that we don't need any help. We don't accept any charity. Look, this is a gift. A gift is free, no strings. Everyone needs a gift now and then, and everyone needs a friend to stand by them when things get tough.
My name is Stephanie. My name is Michelle. What school do you go to? I don't go to school right now. I have to watch my little sister. I miss it a lot though. I miss reading a bunch. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I've got a lot of books I've already read and maybe I could bring some over for you and then when you're done, I'll come back and get you some more. Really? <laughs> yeah, no use in them sitting on a shelf when someone else can use them. Mm -hmm. Hey, I've got a little sister too. She's always hungry. So is my little sister. Well, maybe I could bring my sister over sometime to play with yours. She would like that. Maybe we could come back over and, like, bring you some food. Yeah. I have to ask my mom. Okay, okay and I'll bring you some books. All right. Okay, see you see later. later. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming back and bringing my wallet. You're welcome. It was Oh my. Please, one at a time. Her name is Michelle Colby, and she lives with her sister and her mom in a tent. But what do they do when it rains? Stay inside, I guess. Wait, but there's no room to play. You should have seen her eat, Colby, yeah. like she hadn't eaten in days. Colby, maybe she hadn't. So she left her wallet with a map in it? Yeah, so we followed the map until we got to her tent. And then Stephanie gave her the dress that she bought at the mall. Mm -hmm. You mean the dress from the newspaper ad? The one you really wanted? Well, when I saw how she was living, I really wanted her to have the dress, Colby. I'm very proud of you, Stephanie. That was quite a sacrifice for you. I don't really need a new dress anyway, Colby. I think, I think we should bring her family some food. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, I was thinking of making this a Colby Kids Easter project. You know, gathering food from different places and then taking it to all those people who live in the tents. Yeah. 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 I bet there'd be a lot of people who would donate food if they knew how all those other people were living. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Know. Well, now you are beginning to understand the spirit of Easter. You see, when Jesus died on the cross, he made a very big sacrifice. Not only did he give his life for every human being who will ever live, but he took the punishment for all of the bad things that everyone ever did. And that was a lot of bad stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sure is, Matt. But think of this. God the Father gave the sacrifice of his only son, and Jesus gave the sacrifice of taking all the bad things of the world on himself and erasing those things through his death. And all he asks you to do is take the sacrifice he's already made. It's his gift to every human being. But why would he do that, Colby? Because of his unending love. There is no greater gift that anyone can give. To give his life so someone else can live But when the one who made us came from heaven above He gave his unending love All that he had, All that he, had he gave for us Show to
you have received God's love, you can turn around and give it freely to someone else. I knew what Easter was all about, Colby, but when I think about what God sacrificed for us, it really makes me thankful. Mm -hmm. You're right, Colby. Easter really isn't about bunnies or clothes or Easter candy. Mm -hmm. It's about remembering God's sacrifices for us and then sharing that love with others. Exactly, Stephanie. And that's how you let your light shine. <laughs> 